So, uh, coordination of democratic rights organizations uh, uh, formulated a team uh, that uh, came to Metagora. And the team is comprising of uh, uh, 14 activists from across India, from uh, APCLC, uh, Telangana CLC, PUCR Haryana and uh, West Bengal APDR. So we came, we are standing right now in Metagoda, uh, where on 11th January 2023 at around 1, uh, 11 am, uh, bombs were dropped using drones and followed by uh, intense firing from choppers. Uh, two choppers as uh, have been reported by the villagers of Metagoda that two choppers were involved in the bomb in the firing after bombs fell from multiple bombs around six to seven bombs that we have seen we have seen the bumps of bombs having sharpness and pieces uh, plastic and uh, other metallic pieces of the bombs these are this is the uh, one uh, one uh, piece of bomb uh, as you can see this is the frontal piece of the bomb where you have uh, the primer, the deton detonator. Uh, this is the detonator that, that clicks and explodes the bomb. Uh, it is reported uh, that nobody was killed here, but uh, you can see that side. Nine people were engaged in agricultural activities when the bomb fell. Uh, they have told. Uh, they have told that. The bombs fell with a and exploded with a loud bang, and af thereafter they uh, ran inside the forest and some towards their uh, houses. Uh, we, from uh, coordination of democratic rights organizations, fact-finding team, we have ascertained that there has been an aerial bombing on this place and other villages, uh, namely Rasapalli and uh, Airpad and Botathong and other spaces, and. Uh, uh, there, there has uh, been a report that uh, one woman named Potam Hungi has been killed. Uh, the owner of this land, this three-acre land, uh, Muka Podiam has told us that if, if they would have been near the spots where the bomb fell, they could have lost their lives. So there is a clear question on the government of India, what it is trying to do. Why is it bombing its own people? It is a genocidal act against its own people. And uh, this must be stopped. We demand certain things. First, immediately stop all kinds of aerial bombings that are being done in Chhattisgarh and other spaces uh, of Bastar. We, uh, secondly, we demand that uh, all fact-finding teams and democratic right activists should be allowed to, uh, to visit uh, Bastar and other spaces to probe into the allegations of aerial bombing and incidents of fake encounters. Thirdly, we demand that the government of India immediately stops Operation Samadhan Prahar, which is the embodiment of these aerial strikes and the camps that are being built in uh, Bastar and uh, other states uh, that, are, that have been uh, you know, affected by Naxalite movement. Fourth, we urge all the human rights organizations, national as well as international human rights organization, namely Amnesty International, United Nations Human Rights Council and other such organizations to please visit this space and demand the government of India and Supreme Court to take, uh, demand the Supreme Court to take immediate action, take suo moto cognizance in this matter and put an end to this genocidal uh, act.